Hi, and welcome to another episode of Better Golf for Today. I'm your host, Tyler Dice, and this show is presented by Tyler Dice Golf. This is episode number 26, and as always, we have a great show planned for y'all today. Okay, always a great show, right? Today's main topic is going to be on golf apps. As always, I'll be sharing what I'm working on, and today's tip of the week is on what stats matter. But before we get started, I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in, and I'm happy that you're taking the big step to improving your game by listening to my show. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. Okay, so the main topic today is going to be on golf apps. And essentially, I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the more popular apps out there and the apps that uh, I use on the reg. And um, so, again, I, I typically only use one or two apps uh, normally. Um, one app in particular I use every single time I tee it up because I think it's the best app in the world. And so, again, I'm going to highlight a few of the apps that are out there that maybe a lot of people like to use or that you should consider using and some crummy apps that I think are junk so you don't ever use them. Uh, and the apps that we're going to be focusing on today are the My Round Pro app, Golf Channel Academy, Golf Scope, Revolution Golf, V1 Golf, Coach Now, Huddle, Technique Golf, and The Grint. And so those are the apps that we're going to be focusing in on today. And so let's just dig right in, right? Let's get started. My favorite app is the My Round Pro, that's all one word, My Round Pro by TaylorMade. That's the best app in the world, okay? It's, it's not even close. Um... I love this app, and again, I use it every time. Every single time I play golf, after the round, I use this app because it's so important to me. It's very important to the uh, stats and insights into my game that I like to get, and this is the only app that I know of that will provide me with the stats and insights into my game that I want. And up until recently, only tour pros could get access to this data, and now everyone can. And the more people that use the app, the better the data in the app becomes. So it's a really good idea for everyone to sign up and use this app because it's better for everyone if you do. Um, it's a completely free app. It costs you nothing. There's no premium plan. It's all the same. There's no ads. TaylorMade does not push any of their product on you for trying to use their app. There's no pop-ups or anything like that. It's a free app that TaylorMade puts out on the goodness of their heart to help you play better golf because that's what they want to happen. They want you to play better. So, and this app is really simple to use. Essentially, you open it up, and it'll have a, like a home screen, and you'll create an account and whatnot. And once you create your account, um, what will happen is it'll ask you if you want to add a round. And so you'll just tap on the tab that says Add a Round. And you'll pick your course. And so it'll either use your GPS to find the course that's nearest to you, or you can just type in your course, and it'll find it, and you tap on it. It'll ask you some questions about what tees did you play, and was this like a practice round or a tournament round and some other junk and you can go from there and if you just play nine holes or eight holes or seven holes or whatever you can as many holes as you play you can end your round when you're done playing golf so it's not a big deal if you don't finish the round um, typically most of the scores that I put in there are only nine hole scores that's fine and so it'll ask you some information about your round. And now I, I, I keep track of the information that it's going to ask me, because I know obviously I've done this enough uh, to know what it's going to ask me. I keep track of the information it's going to ask me on a scorecard. And so what I do is I'll mark what club I hit off the tee. I'll mark on the scorecard how far I had into the green. And I'll mark on the scorecard how far I had for my putts. So if I hit an approach shot from like 120, I'll put 120 on there. I'll mark down what club did I hit into the green. And say I hit it one to 20 feet. I'll mark down 20 feet. And then I'll, um, you know, I can just remember how far my second putt was always, always. So I don't usually write that down. But you can. It's not a big deal. But I have a really, really good memory when it comes to stuff like that. So I typically remember every stat about every... I typically remember everything about the round that I just played um, after the round. Like I can tell you virtually every yardage I had into every green and how far the putts I had into the, into the hole were and how many putts that I had and all that fun jazz. And so, But I just keep track of it just because it's easier to recall the information and put it into the app afterwards. 
And so anyways, um, when you're using the app, you're putting in your information. All you have to do is um, what club did you hit off the tee, how far your second shot was, and what club you hit into the green. Uh, how far to the hole from each putt was, and then the app will do the rest of the work for you. It's really, really simple. Um, nine holes takes like seven, eight minutes. Eighteen holes is about fifteen minutes. It's pretty freaking quick. So it's not hard to put this information in for in at all. However, well, not however, but uh, once you put the information in, uh, the app will. Keep your score. It'll give you your scoring average on par threes, on par fours, on par fives. It will tell you your proximity to the hole, your make percentage from certain specific distances on the greens, your up and down percentage from around the greens and from bunkers. It will tell you your greens and regulation, your fairways and regulations, your average putts per round, tendencies off the tee and into the greens. And most importantly, it will tell you your strokes gain stats from the tee, approach shots, short game, and putting. Yes, 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 that's the key here. That's what's most important. The strokes gain stats, those are key. And up until recently, I haven't found any app that will also do that. I, I, I haven't. Um, and the best part about the My Round Pro app is you can set a baseline depending on what skill level you are. So my baseline is set at a pro baseline. So I'm setting my baseline against guys that are really really good if you are a mid am like you, you know you're a mid handicapper like well i shouldn't say mid handicapper if you're a low handicapper or, or like a guy that shoots in the mid 80s you know you don't want to have a pro baseline because it's going to throw your stats all off however you can choose a baseline that's more appropriate to the scores that you shoot and it's going to tell you how you stack up against other your other peers which is the whole entire point of the strokes gain sta uh, stats okay they want to tell you what you're doing in relation to your peers so you know what you need to work on. It's crazy for a guy that shoots 90 to compare himself to a PGA Tour Pro. They're going to do things completely different. So you wouldn't want to compare one to the other. That's just silly. You'd want to compare them to a person that's their peer. And they want to, you want to see how they play compared to their peers. And that's the beauty of the strokes gain stats. And as far as I know, this is the only app that will do that and give you multiple baselines. Um, again, TaylorMade offers this app completely free. There's no service fees, no ads, no offers for their equipment, literally nothing. It's, it's the best thing in the world. Um, they used to have a desktop app in addition to the uh, smartphone app, but they phased the desktop app out because I don't think a lot of people were using it. I loved the desktop app more than the, the smartphone app, and I used the desktop app all the time. Um, it provided a much easier interface with reviewing all your stats, and they actually provided way more stats on the desktop app. And so I wish they would bring it back. I wish I could still get access to it, but I don't know if there's any hopes of them bringing it back unless more and more people start signing up and using the app. So anyways, that's where we're at with that. But this is the best app in the world. Um, cost you literally nothing. It's literally the best value in golf. And the more data you put into the app, the more insights into your game you will get, and the better prepared you will be to improve. This app's awesome. I can't tell you. There was there was a it was a definitely an eye opening experience um, with all the data that I collected into my game for the past uh, year and a half that I've been using this app. Um, I found out a lot of stuff that I a lot of assumptions and 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 things that I thought about my game were completely wrong. And this app is the reason that I've been making some serious changes and have been getting some serious, serious benefits uh, from the changes that I've been making into my own game. So I love this app. It's the best app in the world. And if you're not using this app, oh, come on, man. Seriously, like, get on the train that's going to Birdie Town, okay? This is the app that takes you there. So this is your ticket. Get this app. Use this app. Best app in the world. The other app that I use is the Coach Now app. Um, I like this app. This app allows you to share swings with your golf pro and get an evaluation of your progress quickly and easily. I'm all about quickly and easily. I don't want to waste your time. Uh, this app lets you draw lines and such and lets you make sure that everything is on plane. It's a solid app, and if you want to share your swings with someone, it's a great way to get started. Plus, it's free, and uh, free is nice. So, Coach Now app is, is a good app. Um, also, it's my favorite color. It's orange. Yay! But, yeah, the Coach, Coach Now app is a good app. And if you uh, want to share things with me, the Coach app, Coach Now app is the way to go. 
So again, I like the Coach Coach Now app. It's a good app. I'd recommend it to anybody that again wants to share a swing. It's good stuff. It's not as good as my, my Round Pro app. That's the best app in the world. But they're two totally different animals. The next app we're going to talk about is the Golf Channel Academy app, and it's a decent app. They offer some generic tips and help you and, and get in touch with a golf coach or something to help you with your swing. This is it's not really what I'm about, and if you're looking for some generic help and some generic things and you don't really care if you shoot lower scores, then maybe this is the app for you. Uh, yeah, I'm not very pumped about the Golf Channel stuff. Their head's in the right place sometimes, but... I, uh, yeah, no, not for me. Not my bag. Uh, I don't really understand the appeal of apps like this. You know, generic tips on generic topics haven't really helped anyone permanently shoot lower scores ever. They haven't. They never will. Golf's an individual game. Your teaching and help has to be very specific to that person if you want to seriously help them. You know, tips aren't going to get the job done. They've never gotten the job done. You know, they, 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 they don't get the job done. They, they never will. Like, tips just don't help people. They don't. If you're someone that likes to just get little tips here and there, eh, you're just wasting your time. You're not, you're actually hurting yourself more than you're helping yourself. It's stupid. You know, get some serious improvement on your game by understanding some stats. So anyways, uh, if you want to waste your time, you can use this app. Otherwise, consider using something better, like the TaylorMade My Round Pro app and a subscription to Tyler Dice Golf or one of our programs. Just saying. Maybe it's a shameless plug, but I'm here to help. The next app we're going to talk about is the Golf Scope app. And this app helps you read greens, which I think is kind of cool. I haven't used this app yet, but I'm going to the golf course tomorrow, fingers crossed, if I can get through the DMV today. Oh, God. Um, and this app uses your phone's camera and some other other crazy voodoo to plot a path on the green that you should hit your putt. Uh, again, I plan on taking it to the golf course tomorrow to see how it works. It comes with a 30-day free trial, and a one-year subscription is 20 bucks, which is actually pretty cheap if you think about it. It's like $1.67 a day. Uh, if it works, when I try it out, it could be really useful and beneficial to a lot of players. Obviously, if you're playing around that matters, like something that keeps score, like a, your handicap or club uh, round or anything important, you can't use this app. Uh, but what it does do is it allows you to keep track of how the greens break in a little book that you can use in a tournament round. And so this is something that can help supplement you, your play. Um, but it's going to require some work on your end. Again, you're going to have to keep a notebook. You're going to have to map the greens out, and you're going to want to... It's not going to be an exact science, but what it's going to do is provide a pretty good guide so that you know what putts are doing when you're on the green. And obviously, the more data you collect, the more efficient your guide that you'll have to develop on your own will be. Um, I'm interested in knowing if this, how this works, uh, if it's just some of the time, most of the time, hardly any of the time, um, and I'm more than a little interested to see how it handles uphill and downhill putts with a 2D camera, because your camera on your phone is a 2D camera, and you're playing in a world that's three-dimensional. So, like, uphill and downhill putts do different things. So if you have an uphill putt, that, so if you say three putts, a downhill putt, a flat putt, and an uphill putt. And all three putts have the same amount of slope from right to left. All three of those putts will break a different amount. Okay? That's how it works. Because green speed. Faster greens break more, slower greens break less. An uphill putt's slower, it's going to break less. A downhill putt's faster, it's going to break more. Okay? We know this. This is something that everybody knows. And so I don't know how the camera is going to handle uphill and downhill putts. And so if you have to take that into consideration yourself, or maybe there's a thing that says how far uphill is this putt, and you put it in and it gives you the read, that might make things a little bit easier. But I don't know. I haven't used it yet, so I plan on using it. It has some promise. And uh, again, I'll obviously, if it works amazing, then I'm going to be probably going on a podcast about the golf scope app and how amazing the my round pro app still is so again uh if you want to give it a shot give it a go but um maybe hold off on subscribing to it until you get uh get some more feedback from me 
Next up on the docket is the Revolution Golf app. This is stupid. Next. App got 2.1 stars, and it's probably more than it deserves. Yeah, that's all I'm getting on the Revolution Golf app. Don't do it. The V1 Golf app is actually pretty darn good. Um, it's one of the original uh, specific golf instruction apps available to everyone. This is a really cool thing. It's been around a long time. I've used this app off on for probably close, honestly, close to a decade. Uh, it used to cost money, and now it's free, so that's awesome. Uh, and if you want something simple and you want to compare your swing to other Tor Pro swings, this app has a whole bunch of those loaded in there. Um, and it's really easy to do comparisons and stuff on it. So I actually like the V1 Golf app and think it's pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit limited on some cell phones. The bigger ones, it's really good. And on, I think on an a iPad or something, it's a lot better. But the V1 Golf app is pretty good. Um, I won't say anything bad about it. Uh, it's, it's got a sweet spot in my heart. Next up, we have the Huddle Technique Golf app. This is an this app similar to kind of like a cross between V1 Golf and Coach Now. Uh, it looks pretty decent, and I think if you went all in on this app, you probably wouldn't be disappointed. Um, but again, it kind of borrows stuff from both of those two apps that I mentioned, the V1 and the Coach Now. So it's not bad. Um, and I think, again, I think if you try it out, you might like it, and then I don't have any problems with it. The last app we're going to talk about today is the Grint. This app does GPS and maintains your handicap. It has a 4.7 star rating in Apple's App Store, and so it can't be that bad. Uh, I'm not a fan of handicapping, handicapping, but if you're into that, this app seems to cover that base, and I believe it does it for free. So that's always nice. It does have a premium version that's 20 bucks a year. Uh, the free version has a lot more options, and it's worth it to check out. Um, this also does like let you play games like Stapleford, and I believe it also lets you do wagers and stuff like that. So if you're playing with a league and you want to have everything set up through the app, you can do that. You can handicap the stuff, and you can pair people up with uh, their matches and whatnot. And, yeah, it's it's not bad. It's a pretty good app. So, um, again, 4.7 stars is pretty freaking solid. That's really solid for an app. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, give it a shot. If you, if you play in a league or you play with a group of guys and you want to have everything set up on an app that's easy to use, have everybody download the freaking app. I mean, who, um, everybody's got smartphones now, right? Virtually everyone. And if you don't, well, you know, I'm not going to tell you to go get one, but I'm going to be saying, that, like, you're the weirdo of the group, probably. So, anyways, that's that. And that's about all I have for you for golf apps. Uh, again, I didn't want to list everyone that's out there, but I wanted to touch on some of the more popular ones and um, discourage you from using some of the crummy ones that I think are stupid. Um, and so, yeah. In conclusion, download the My Round Pro app. Get it on your phone and use it every time. It's a sweet app. So, let's move on to the tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is on what stats matter. And I've talked about this today. And the most stats, important stats are the strokes gained stats. These are the best stats in the world. Uh, they have a putting, short game, approach shot, and tee shot strokes gained stats. They are the stats that matter. They matter most importantly. They are the only stats that really matter consistently. Um, they tell you what you're doing compared to your peers. How you stack up against the people you play against. Okay? They're the best stats. And the TaylorMade My Round Pro app keeps those stats for you. Download the app. Start getting the stats. Now, let's move on to what I'm working on. Currently, I'm working on my putting. I am constantly evaluating my performance on the, co on the golf course. And solid putting causes my scores to... Causes me to get lots more birdies. Lots more birdies. So, practice making more putts. That's what I'm working on. Nothing crazy. Practicing making more putts. And uh, that's all I got for you this week. Remember, you can connect with me via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and email. And if you want to learn more about Teller Dice Golf and how it can help you shoot your best scores ever, contact me via email or on social media, and I will explain how TDG can help you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep grinding.